Right. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, I, I knew it was, I was like, oh man, I, I hope he doesn't like balk at that question because it's like, man, I just got the role. <laughs> but, Maybe um, you made it <laughs> Um, so you, you mentioned, um, how you keep the two worlds separate, how you do a lot of art, um, initiatives outside of, uh, the museum. Um, you're, you're also the co-founder of Focus, which is a multicultural arts organization that aims to use, um, that aims to use art as a tool of empowerment. Uh, you also created a companion art magazine, Insight which features the art and writing of local artists, which I can proudly say that I had the opportunity to contribute a story to. Um, with Focus, you've worked with the Brooklyn Academy of Music, the Fulton Area Business Alliance, celebrities like John Legend and Janelle Monae. Um, when you started this organization with your college classmate in 2003 at the University of Michigan, what was the vision for it? And did you imagine it growing into the amazing or organization that it is today? The vision was always, how do we create the things that we feel are missing? And what I mean by that is I grew up in Brooklyn, um, the co-founder of Alma grew up in Spanish Harlem. We were used to New York. Two New York kids decided to go to Michigan in the Midwest. I didn't even visit the school. They just had a really great engineering program, which is what I studied in school. So I was like, great. Mom, dad, I'm out. I got there and wow, it was a bit of a rude awakening. Um, so the organization was founded to fill in the gaps that we felt were missing. But more importantly, how do we use art to create a community that goes across, regardless of what your major is, where you live, how you identify, like how do we create a nexus space that crisscrosses all the things we think keep us different and apart. And that's what Focus set out to be. And a lot of it was really rooted in Again, my upbringing, I always go back to the creeping heritage because, you know, being from St. Vincent is really essential. Where, we, where I grew up with my brothers and sisters, my cousins, my uncles, we all lived literally in the same apartment complex. It was four apartments. And then we had another set of group next door. So you might see 20, 30 Rastafarian kids and some extended Edwards families running around. And we just mm -hmm. loved each other, loved on each other, helped support each other, and also helped fill in the gaps for each other. So that's been really the bread and butter of what I've carried throughout my entire life. And that's what Focus set out to be. How do we use arts as a way to really crisscross and get communities together? Because one of the things we always say is art is what makes us human and art is the one thing we can always find a connection point. You might not like that song, I might love it, and then we can talk about why we feel that way. Or you might not like that painting, but we can talk about it. So it really creates a somewhat democratic way to connect and that's what focus set out to be but also internally i was told you know we always had this saying that we are an organization of students and not a student organization and the reason i flipped it was there's a certain bar of excellence we expected every time you showed up but also right. your learning skills that will transfer into whatever you're doing so we've had people go on to be successful TV writers, actors, journalists, dancers, photographers, community activists, you name it. And they, you know, I get a chance to connect with some of them. They're like, oh, I learned this in focus. Like I learned how to do X, Y, Z in focus. So focus was a incubator for those who were involved to just build up the skills that we know are going to be needed in regardless of where we need to go, but we're not necessarily given the good fortune to make that mistake and learn along the way. So that was the one part of it. But then externally, we just want to get people together and learn from each other, support each other, highlight each other. So like when we did John Legend, um, I remember we had six different student acts open up for them. And it was like, he was the character. It was like, look, I know you do this. I know you do that. I'm going to get you in a sold out house. You're going to open up for John Legend. And it was great. I remember getting my buddy's car to go pick him up and driving him back to the airport. Um, from the airport, I should say. But focus is always this idea of how do we overcome these obstacles knowing that we can succeed? And that's what the acronym stands for. It's fighting obstacles, knowing ultimate success. There are a ton of obstacles that are put up in front of us by society and external, but also ones that we put up within ourselves. So how do we overcome those knowing that there is a pinnacle we want to reach? And where we are right now, um, it's been great to see the growth. You know, there's a chapter still in Michigan. There's a chapter in New York. We're doing a lot of things around 
public art and affirmation. So we've been rolling out some work in the, actually some work is coming out the next couple of weeks, but it started as this like crazy idea with um, my two best friends, we got off the ground running, so now it's a strong entity as well. Oh, that's so dope. Like that John Legend story is crazy <laughs> that you get six opening acts and just giving all these people opportunities to be seen because they're waiting, you know, the crowd is waiting to see John Legend. That's that's super dope. Um, and I'll tell you, I had such a proud friend moment when the first time I saw the did it say focus or insights? The first time I saw like like artwork yeah. that I was connected to the organization on like uh on like garbage cans on on yep. on Fulton Street and you know just posted up on the streets that I that I walk and I was like wow like this this guy really did it like he he got this thing out there you know like really I, blew it up so I appreciate that yeah we're we've been doing we now have eleven versions out um mm -hmm. I call them a wave or installation so it's very much like an art exhibit but rather than mm -hmm requiring the public to go into an institution which sometimes we may not feel welcomed it's in your daily life you should have art as part of your daily life and then the last six that we've done all have words of affirmation so a handful just went up predominantly around downtown brooklyn and we're looking at some other spaces outside of new york but i i, I appreciate that uh, because it's just working with artists who may not have had an opportunity to showcase their work in the public all i see myself is you know, I, I say I'm like a coach. My goal is to help push, get you where you need to be, but also to let you know you're on the court, I'm not. So whatever happens when it's an opportunity to show up, I can get you there. I can get you the uniform. I can do the plays. But if you're mm -hmm. going to take that layup or not, it's on you. Yeah, you got to stay ready. Yep. Where did that love of art come from? Like, how did that develop? I mean, it's sort of like that, that tried and true time. Like growing up in a household, my mom was a really big, singer um netball nurse my entire family is all about the arts my older brother used to dj i would remember waking up at my granny's house um she lived on bed -Stuy. sunday morning music was always playing so we were always surrounded by art in some format and really seeing how art has really helped to remind us what is important and also in some ways what's coming down the pipe like Art really is an opportunity for you to see what's unconscious. I think it's Baldwin maybe has a quote that's like the role of the artist is the same as the lover and it's helping you to realize what you don't see. I'm definitely mm. butchering that quote. Please don't hold that against me, but it's something to that effect. <laughs> okay. so that's okay. been my idea around art is like anytime I've had any issues or anytime I've had things I want to communicate. I always found the thing that helped me communicate that externally or found the thing that helped me to reflect on some things I was going through in my own life. So art's been a very key and remains a key vehicle in my own growth, development, and success. And I think it's one of those things that supersedes language in many ways. Love it. Um, so you're all so like you mentioned, you're